Oh, hey there, it's Charlotte from Luno, answering your crypto questions. Today, we're talking about permission blockchains. You might have heard about public blockchains, such as the Bitcoin blockchain. Permission blockchains are slightly different and are often referred to as a private blockchain. A private blockchain is governed by a single entity, such as a company. Think of it like private land. The entity or owner decides who can or cannot get on their property, or join the network in this case, and who can or cannot verify transactions on the blockchain. A public blockchain, like Bitcoin, on the other hand, is more like a public park. Everyone gets, can play on the swings, including your cat, dog, rabbit or hamster. Permission blockchains are not made available to the public. And although they share the technological benefits of a blockchain, they aren't distributed in the same way that a public or permissionless blockchain is. This means they lack a key characteristic of blockchain technology, decentralization. They do, however, have a kind of security that some organizations prefer. They also process transactions faster, which makes it more suitable option in certain cases. That's a wrap. Thank you so much for listening. And if you have any more questions, please do let us know.